Happy Halloween! I uh, was not planning on making any content for Halloween this year because I just hadn't thought it through and also I'm uh, sick. I did have some ideas that came up after, you know, spitballing with my roommate, so let's go ahead and make a horror film inspired cocktail called The Candyman on today's episode of Mike's Hard Reviews. My name is Michael. I'm a bartender and mixologist from Kalamazoo, Michigan, and today we're going to take a look at a Halloween-themed cocktail that you can serve at your Halloween parties this year, uh, named after one of my favorite 1990s horror films. Candyman came out in 1992, and at its surface is a paranormal slasher film with an erotic tinge to it based off of a Clive Barker short story. But the deeper subtext of the film is largely about misogyny in the scientific community, um, the mistreatment of the mentally ill, and the poor living conditions in which many black people found themselves in the 1980s uh, in urban developments like the projects. It's a deep and robust movie that has a very effective cast that I think but just about anybody could get behind this holiday season. So <laughs> if you want to get your spook on, boot up a copy of Candyman, and let's make a Candyman cocktail right now. This is a shaking cocktail, so grab your favorite kind of shaker. And we'll start by cracking one egg white into your shaker. We'll come behind that with a single dash of Angostura bitters. We'll then do one dash of orange bitters. And finally, a dash of elderflower liqueur. I'm going to use St. Germain today. I don't have a dash of bottle for this, so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. Now we can build the base of our cocktail. That base is going to start with one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Pour that right on in. We'll come behind that with one ounce of our preferred gin. I'm using 12 uh, gun room, 12 botanicals today. And finally, our sweetness in this cocktail is going to come from a combination of two liqueurs. This is a uh, last word variation after all. So we're gonna do one ounce of a honey liqueur. I'm using uh, Baron Jaeger. And we're gonna do one ounce of this Ramazzotti Aperitivo Rosada, which is an orange blossom and hibiscus uh, aperitivo with a very nice floral impact to it. Notably, there is not a good substitute for this. So you're gonna have to find a bottle of this for this to work exactly the same. But if you can't find it, uh, triple sec would be a fun and tasty way to replace it. Um, won't have the same impact, but it'll get the job done. Because we have our uh, egg white in there, we're gonna have to dry shake this first. So I'm gonna grab my cocktail spring, cap it up and tap it down. And then shake that for 15 seconds to emulsify the egg white. We're gonna very carefully crack that open so that we release that pressure and don't make anything explode. And then because we've got that egg white in there, I'm going to shake this with just a single piece of large format ice and leave that coil in there so that we can continue to build up a nice foam to go across the top of the cocktail without over diluting it and making it become kind of loose. We place our cap and give this a quick wipe down because well, that's gross. And then good old fashioned 10 to 12 second shake. We're gonna serve this cocktail up and coop like that. And we're gonna go ahead and crack this open and we need to double strain this so that we can catch the uh, casing for that egg white and stop any pulp from coming through. So pour that on in. As you can see, we've got this nice thick egg white foam on top, which is something we absolutely need. To garnish this, I'm gonna take some Peychaud's bitters and place three drops sort of along the outer edge of the cocktail. I'll do four this time, actually. And then we'll take a cocktail pick and just streak those through the egg white. And then, because it's Halloween and because of the name of the movie and the drink are called The Candy Man, uh, we're gonna go ahead and garnish this with some candy. I have these Albanese uh, gummy bears, eight flavored gummy bears here. These are the best gummy bears on the market. We're gonna grab a couple of these. Grab a couple of the different colors and uh, spear them on a cocktail pick like so. It's got that family nice and speared up there. Go ahead and put that on the edge of your glass. And that 
ladies and gentlemen, is a candy man. With our station mostly cleaned up, let's go ahead and give our cocktail a sip. Cheers. Mm. Ooh, mm, that is good. So the crazy thing about this is that the cocktail itself, the combination of orange blossom floral notes and hibiscus, which is this kind of fruity, sharp, tart tea, and the honey and the gin botanicals, they actually come together to taste exactly like Haribo gummy bears. <laughs> like if you were to take a handful of Haribo gummy bears and just go, bah, that is what the cocktail tastes like. It is delicious. And this candy garnish on the top is just so charming and so fun and, and so so li lively. I think anybody would see this at a party and go, okay, that's the drink I wanna have tonight. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave us without a reading from Crisp Toast today because I have one more video to shoot um, for Halloween day. And I just kind of want to speed through these today. But thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe down below to catch more. I make videos every single Friday and sometimes on Tuesdays like I will this coming Tuesday when we're doing a second Halloween themed cocktail. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I'm tired. Have a good one. Bye-bye.